on their way then for this Silly Isles novices chase. A stern examination of these novices. Some tricky fences around here. Dr. Lloyd with the big white face, just about the first to show. As they take the first, Eulogy and Wayward King take it second and third, and then Cypher Malta. Towards the inside left a picture as Jack Doyle and finally Chief Song. Over the second, Dr. Lloyd had a bit of a look at that. Chief Song stood right off it in last place. And the last on the far side, and Dr. Lloyd out jumped this time by Eulogy out wide near as the camera. Cypher Malta in third place, taking quite a firm tug under Tony McCoy. And just behind restrained now Wayward King in third. And then the last two, Jack Doyle and Chief Song. Once again, a very steady early pace as in our last race. And it's Dr. Lloyd and Eulogy who disputed. Eulogy towards the outside of Dr. Lloyd. And then back in third is Wayward King. As Jim was saying, it's uh, one outstanding bit of form. And uh, they will have run up to it last time at Ascot, but for jumping errors. He's heading a clear round. He's a nice horse. Jumping the pond fence. Eulogy over first from Dr. Lloyd. And then Wayward King back in third from Cypher Malta. He gets this generous weight allowance for five-year-olds. The last two, Jack Doyle and Chief Song. He looks a picture going to post is the back marker. Over the first in the straight, Eulogy. A bit crooked at it, but uh, took it well enough. And leads from Dr. Lloyd as they approach the next. And this is the outside portion of this fence. It's an open ditch. And it's Eulogy on the near side of Dr. Lloyd. Cypher Malta, a little clumsy on landing there. Wayward King a clear third, then Cypher Malta. And the last two are Jack Doyle and Chief Song wags the tail. Passing the stands then a circuit in front of them. And Eulogy just won the race this time round, but it's next time that counts. Dr. Lloyd on the rail. They're four lengths, maybe five, to Wayward King then, followed by Cypher Malta. And notice how wide David Bridgewater is steering Eulogy perhaps in search of uh, less poached ground racing up the hills. Dr. Lloyd towards the inside, and then follows Wayward King from Cypher Malta. Jack Doyle and Chief Song still content to observe from the rear, beginning the run down the hill, away from the stands now, as they approach the next. This is fence number seven of the 17, and it's Dr. Lloyd left of picture on the right of picture then. On the outside is Eulogy as they approach this one see who takes it first it was dr lloyd the inside way with king cypher malta a little erratic a reminder for eulogy and the last two jack doyle still ridden patiently by carl llewellyn and finally chief song entering the back straight then now and lots of jumping to be done down here fence number eight coming up Dr. Lloyd towards the inside of Eulogy. Dr. Lloyd over by half length for Eulogy. Wayward King pitched on landing there and gets a reminder for his troubles as Cypher Malta moves up over the next. And uh, the jumping becoming a bit ragged from both Cypher Malta and Wayward King in behind the two leaders who are jumping adequately over an open ditch now. Dr. Lloyd and Eulogy. And then Wayward King from Cypher Malta. And still no move yet from the other two, Chief Song and Jack Doyle, who are giving them a bit of a start now as they race towards the water jump. And it's Eulogy, kicked into this one, lands by half length to Dr. Lloyd. Cypher Malta is still running away towards the near side in the blue and green jacket, followed next by Wayward King. Past their departure point, on towards these railway fences. They come thick and fast. Dr. And Eulogy got in far too close this time, made a bad mistake. Dr. Lloyd left in front on landing with Cypher Malta moving up on the outside. They got too close to that. Eulogy hanging on in there. Wayward King next from Chief Song and Jack Doyle. The last on the far side. Eulogy has battled back to the lead. Dr. Lloyd the inside. Cypher Malta though, he looks uh, raring to go and ready to pick them up in third place. And they're kicking away by about four lengths to Wayward King, followed by Chief Song and Jack Doyle not making much impression at the moment, last of the half dozen, but still a long way to go. There'd only be six lengths between first and last. As they head down towards the third last, it's the pond fence coming up, and Eulogy, under a typically vigorous David Bridgewater ride, leading from Dr. Lloyd, who hasn't left the inside under Richard Dunwoody. Cypher Malta now back in third place, still there, ready to go, as they take the pond fence, Dr. Lloyd from Eulogy, Cypher Malta next, then Jack Doyle, who's improved into fourth place. Chief Song is next, and Wayward King has cried enough. Dr. Lloyd's back in front now, heading down towards two out. Dr. Lloyd 
uh, closes into this, got it a bit tight. They're coming at him. Eulogy second, Cypher Malta third. Jack Doyle towards the outside, then Chief Song heading towards the final fence. Then in this Silly Isles novices chase, Dr. Lloyd bidding to continue his good winning run over fences, but joined by Jack Doyle, who's come from last place and stays well. Cypher Malta third from Chief Song. Jack Doyle gets his nose in front from Dr. Lloyd. Cypher Malta is rallying. He's the second place, but can he get past Jack Doyle? No, he can't. Jack Jack Doyle follows up his Cheltenham win from Cypher Malta, then Dr. Lloyd, Chief Song back in fourth from Eulogy in fifth, and Wayward King a long way back, last of the six. Well, I'd almost discounted Jack Doyle turning out of the back straight. Of all the runners, he seemed to be making little impression, but Carl Llewellyn was in no hurry, and he's come on the scene in the closing stages between the final two fences he wasn't too fluent at the pond fence again that looked to have uh, cost him a bit of ground and any chance he might have had but uh, he really stays the trip really well this progressive son of be my native winning his third race of the season now with nigel twiston davis another winner for the informed carl llewellyn in second place well it went to number six cypher malta still relatively inexperienced a five-year-old he ran on well up the hill not quite able to get on terms with Jack Doyle despite conceit getting 10 pounds from the winner in third was Dr. Lloyd who ran a good race again and fourth was Chief Song well Carl Llewellyn a wily impatient rider on this and he rode this horse if he knew he was sitting on something good he takes steps here to avoid eulogy who's been uh, jumping away to his right and Jim this is a good effort he's giving weight to Cypher Malta yeah, the horse was very good there, um, Jack Doyle, because he was crossed in mid-air, and uh, Eulogy didn't do Cypher Malta many favours there either. In fact, Bar Chief Song, who jumped pretty straight, is a little low at times. They've all either jumped across each other or, or not been foot perfect. Dr. Lunt, who's more of a stayer than the rest, Richard Dunwoody made plenty of use of him back at two and a half miles. Remember, he's been running on softer ground too, and he runs a brave race. They all run well of those in the picture. Like Simon, I thought um, Jack Doyle still had it all to do, and uh, again, he doesn't get the clearest of runs going to the last. He tends to hang a little bit himself. We saw that last week at Cheltenham. He's got a different noseband on today. Uh, but this is a good effort in what's turned into not quite the same sort of sprint as the hurdle did but again it was more of a test of speed different styles there dr lunt big in the air rather than quick over it and uh, uh, jack doyle just be tending to hang now carl llewellyn has got to be very careful as he lets him down so he doesn't cause any undue interference they tighten uh, up uh, he tightens the others up a little bit but i don't think he actually caused no he definitely doesn't cause any interference and uh, runs on well a good effort and this horse has something of a heart murmur i should think the tactics that carl used whilst it was a brilliantly executed they gave the owner a heart, heart murmur as well <laughs>